Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 17 and everything we know regarding the next big update from Apple. Now, of course, we're getting closer to the release of the first beta of iOS 17, which will happen at WWDC 2023. That will be at the beginning of this June. So the reports are flowing the internet. We have a lot of reports, rumors, and all that regarding the new features and changes that are coming and are not coming to iOS 17. So let's go ahead, take a look at all these and see what to expect from the new iOS 17. Now, first of all, we're starting with bad news, so let's just get those out of the way first. This year, we won't be able to actually update to iOS 17 via a dev beta profile. That was used to be a feature which everyone basically took advantage of, just install a profile on their device, and everyone could actually update to the dev beta the date was released. Well, Apple has made some changes with iOS 16.4, which now will allow installing betas only if you have a dev account, which is $100 per year. So if you have that, you no longer actually need to update via a profile. All you have to do is head on to your settings, go to software update, and you will find beta updates here. So here we have the beta updates. All you have to do is select the dev beta and you're good to go. Of course, as long as your Apple ID is registered as a dev account. Now, if you don't have that, you will see only this, the public beta. So from now on, you won't be able to actually install the dev beta without paying. So you will have to wait for the public beta. In this case, it's much easier to actually download even the public beta. So you don't have to enroll your device at all. All you have to do is just select the public beta here and wait for the release and you will get the update. That will happen probably five to six weeks after the first dev beta has been released for iOS 17. Talking bad news, here we have another one from Mark Grumman from Bloomberg, who is our very trusted source when it comes to Apple and iOS related stuff. So according to him, Apple will focus their attention on creating their XR OS, which is the new headset OS that Apple is creating that will be presented at WWDC 2023. And according to him, he hasn't heard anything special game changing coming for iOS or iPad OS, Mac OS, or even watch OS this year. This leads us to believe that even though we're expecting to see a lot of new changes on iOS 17, we do not expect any major feature like the new lock screen widgets on iOS 16 or the home screen widgets on iOS 14. You can expect to have a lot of changes, but nothing major. But of course, it will be kind of like a polished iOS 16 version with a few changes, maybe some UI and some visual changes, which would actually be very, very welcomed. And now let's move on and talk about some better news. Now here we have another Twitter account that I follow, I hack to you, which has been right in quite a lot of cases when basically reporting regarding new features that are coming to iOS. And according to him with iOS 17, we might see these things. All notifications on the dynamic island, that is very, very welcome. Hopefully Apple will do that because the dynamic island as currently is, is not actually taking advantage of the new UI. So probably that will be the case. New features on the lock screen, new features on home screens with dynamic island. So we might see some changes there that will not be available to all devices, but only devices with the dynamic island. Currently only the iPhone Pro and the, the iPhone 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max. Then a new control center that has actually been rumored for a long time to come to iOS, a new redesigned control center that will actually look something like the one we have on Mac OS, new features for settings, accessibility, new features, and also don't wait for a pencil on iPhone, of course, that probably isn't coming to iPhone anytime soon. So these are some of the new features reported by iHack to you on Twitter, which again, I've seen him being right on a lot of times on his predictions and his report regarding new iOS features. So these are some things that we might see on iOS 17 coming on its first beta this June at WWDC 2023. Now, another hint he's giving here is, do you want choices for icons? Now, this also has been rumored to come to iOS, especially the icons that we have with the depth effect 
on Mac OS. Now we might have a few different choices, a few like different settings to set for icons on iOS 17, which would allow basically to personalize your icons, but don't expect Apple to actually like allow people to just use themes on iOS. I wouldn't expect that, even though we might have a few different options on the settings, which of course will come pre-installed on iOS from which users actually can choose and use whichever they want. Moving on and talking about supported devices. Now due to the fact that we have reports that iOS 17 want to include any like game changing features, any like major new features, I wouldn't expect Apple to actually drop support for any device this year. They dropped support last year for the iPhone 6S and the 6S Plus and the iPhone 7. This year, I would expect them to actually keep the same devices. So starting from the iPhone 8 and the 8 Plus, the last, of course, iPhone with a home button in this series here, of course, despite the new SE. And then we have all the other iPhones right here that are currently supported by iOS 16. So again, due to the fact that this software update probably won't be anything major, I don't expect Apple to actually drop support for any of the devices that are currently supporting iOS 16. So when can we expect the first beta of iOS 16? Well, I would expect the first beta to be released, of course, after WWDC 2023, which will most likely, in my opinion, be held on June 5th. Usually Apple does this on a Monday at the beginning of June, they hold their event, and I would actually expect Apple to do that this year on June 5th. Of course, the, the, the conference will probably be around like two hours, an hour and a half or two hours. After that, we will get the update for iOS 17. But again, we won't get all that just like we used to get previous on the previous years with just like a profile installing on our device if you want to install it you will have to have the paid account the paid dev account or you will have to wait for the public beta while i believe the first beta the dev beta will be released on june 5th i would expect actually the, the public beta to be released somewhere mid July here, probably on the 10th or even 17th. These are the two dates where I'm expecting Apple to actually release iOS 17 public beta. And of course the public release of iOS 17, it will happen on September, just like every year. And I would actually expect Apple to release it somewhere, maybe around the 18th or 19th of September. Probably the second half of September will be the time that we will get iOS 17 released to the public. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are the things that we currently know regarding iOS 17. Of course, nothing here is totally confirmed 100 percent confirmed but these are the rumors the reports and everything that we currently know regarding the new software update so thank you guys for watching the video don't forget to subscribe for more and leave a like if you enjoyed this one and i will see you on the next video